Hello everyone and today I will be teaching you guys a system organization uh, syllabus statement 1.1.5 and this will be on evaluating alternative install installation process so the installation process comes after the design after the test in the system life cycle SLC so basically there are four different methods of alternative installation processors they all have different advantages and disadvantages and some may work for a specific company better than another let's start off with direct direct installation what direct installation is it is that it starts using the new system immediately and stops using the old system right away like a direct change for example shown in this diagram O old directly to new like that all at once this has some obvious uh, disadvantages and maybe some advantages the obvious advan ad advantage is that the new system can be used immediately immediately right there. Uh, some another possible advantage might be that it is cheap as it doesn't have multiple copies running at the same time doesn't has an old part of an old one and like 80 percent of a new one it's 100 percent zero zero hundred percent right away that's direct and um, yeah, that's the advantages. But the disadvantage is that it is risky. It's very, very risky. There are absolutely no backup plans towards this. And sometimes if you change from old to new right away, it might take two days. So that's two, two days of inactivity or doldrum. And uh, the organization won't have anything to do. So that's a um, period of time. To switch. Similar to direct method is called the pilot method, but pilot method is only this direct method at a particular branch or a particular department. Let's say uh, like company X wants to implement Windows 10, where currently it's Windows 8. So um, using the pilot system, let's say they would implement Windows 10 just only for the humanities department or HR department. That's pilot system. It's a system tested and it system installed and tested in a small number of departments and branches. And obviously they report back their findings. So uh, suggest so they will suggest good things for the future. Uh, advantages and disadvantages are very similar, such as, but for this one, uh, pilot, uh, only a small part are affected. Even if it fails, only that small part fails. And it, um, if there are issues, it's not affecting the company as a whole, whereas only that particular department that is assigned to implement the installation system. So the disadvantage might be extra work for the IT department as it has to manage both at once. The particular, let's say, HR department running Windows 10 as well as the normal old other, the other departments running Windows 8, let's say, for example. And um, the disadvantages are also, but it's less risky, of course, and it may take time to switch. This is the known as the pilot method. There is the third and fourth one. One is called phased implementation. This is meant by a gradual reduction by the use of the old system while gradually increasing the new system as this diagram uh, explains it perfectly. So it's like, shh, like phased from O to N. Gradual reduction and gradual increase. And this is a common method, and this is a very um, fairly easier method compared to the other other ones, as it's obviously less risky, 
and it's sorry less risky and it's probably the most cost effective out of all of them maybe pilot and phased are probably similar in terms of cost effectiveness but the disadvantage is, my, uh, is that it may take time time consuming to switch from one to another and another disadvantage might be uh, it might be difficult to integrate the old ones into the new ones temporarily integration it may be difficult for one to switch to another and finally we have the parallel running and this is when they use both of the old and new system simultaneously so it's for example running Windows 8 and running Windows 10 and when all of the data is transferred to Windows 10 then they can shut it down so obviously this takes lots and lots of time sorry that should be in the disadvantage section it takes the most time out of all however it is the safest by far as if the Windows 10 let's say fails do you have a Windows 8 as a backup plan this is known as parallel running uh, another disadvantage might be it might be out of sync when you sync one to another remember this is parallel or duplicate copies so one to another there also may be extra cost but the advantage is that it's really safe and it's really really low risk thank you for watching and hopefully this has helped you in 1.1.5 evaluate alternative installation process